Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I want to thank you all for being here. I know that we made a last minute uh, change in our schedule uh, on the calendar. Uh, one of the reasons we wanted to do that is so that next week, on Wednesday evening, um, you would be free to go and uh, uh, watch the last home game for the women's volleyball team uh, if you'd like to do that. Uh, so, uh, and we wanted to give you time to uh, set up some uh, meetings with your advisor, and we'll go over that in just a few minutes. But tonight we're going to be talking about the three P's. Pre-enroll, pre-assign, and pre-pay. So as this semester, we're halfway through. We're on the backside now. And so now is the time for you to start thinking about next spring. And there are some uh, procedures and policies that you have to go by in order to uh, have housing and, and uh, set up your classes and all of that for the spring. So we want to make sure that you understand and are able to navigate the system so that uh, when you come back from the winter break that you're all set and ready and not scrambling around trying to uh, find your way. So the first thing is pre-enroll. So all the uh, on the academic calendar, pre-enrollment begins on Monday, November the 1st. And the way they do that is, um, the first couple of days will be for seniors. So uh, seniors will enroll, pre-enroll November 1st through the 2nd. The juniors will enroll the 3rd and the 4th. And the sophomores uh, will enroll November 5th and 8th. And then the freshmen, uh, November 9th and 10th. And then anyone who missed out during that time period can enroll on November the 11th and 12th. So I, that's not up there. I just got this information just hot off the press, literally. So, uh, so those are the dates for pre-enrollment for you. And uh, one of the things that we encourage you to do is to start now scheduling a time with your academic advisor. Sometimes it's hard to get a hold of them, but you need to set a time. And um, this information that I just got says that the uh, classes are available on the student portal. So in your student portal, you should be able to look at the classes that are being offered in the spring. Now there may be some changes as the dates get closer, but uh, that's something that your academic advisor will be able to help you make that adjustment. So it's important that you do this because um, that way you're keeping up with the classes you've had this semester and what you need for the next semester and to be able to uh, stay on track and on pace to the classes that you will need uh, to, to get your degree. Remember, we're on this path, we're on this journey, and so this is just the next step. So pre-enrollment will be done in that order, as I mentioned, seniors, juniors, sophomores, freshmen, and then anyone else that might have missed for whatever reason. Now, if you have a business hold on your account with the university, you need to go and speak with someone at the bursar's office. So uh, they are urging you to uh, do it online. Contact them by email uh, or call or something to talk to them about your account. Um, a lot of these offices, people are still teleworking, so uh, you want to make sure that you do that and you have time uh, before pre-enrollment. So if you still have a hold, you need to work something out with the business office, the person's office, uh, prior to pre-enrollment. Okay, the next one is Okay, and for any of you that are watching the video, 
that might be thinking about this coming uh, spring semester, this is uh, the enrollment is for current students only, pre-enrollment. So if you're a new student thinking about coming in the spring or a transfer, first time transfer here to Haskell, that uh, enrollment will begin in December. So this is just for current students right now. Pre-assignment. Now this one is a long category because there's a lot of issues that are going to be happening uh, because of the COVID. But uh, if you are currently living in the dorms, you do not have to reapply to live in the dorms in the spring. You're automatically accepted in. However, you will need to show proof of vaccination and um, you will need to fill out a winter storage agreement and pre-assignment application. And the pre-assignment application is if maybe you want to change rooms or change dorms or something. Um, so you have to work that out with uh, the housing folks and your CRAs can uh, help you with finding those forms. But you can also find them on the Haskell website at www.haskell.edu. So, um, and then the housing department, they will request a prepayment to reserve your room. So that's why it's important for you to uh, contact the bursar's office and, uh, and make sure your account is okay. Now, the next thing is, for students who are currently, who are not currently living on, in camp, on campus, but you want to apply for housing, there is a long list of things that you have to follow in order to do that. First of all, you must be fully vaccinated. Um, only transfer students arriving uh, for the first time at Haskell, well, then I guess the first year, first semester. So if you know someone that's wanting to apply here, they have to be first year, first semester for the spring. And then seniors who have already been approved for graduation either in the summer or spring or summer or the fall of 2022. And those are the only folks and then student athletes. The new thing is uh, if you are living in Lawrence or the surrounding area and you are a work study student, then housing will be available to you as well. But you will have to uh, apply for that and go through the normal application process. Okay? So here are the requirements for, uh, again, if those uh, students want to come in, then fully vaccinated, if they have to be admitted already uh, into the spring semester. Um, Pre-enrolled, like I said, uh, pre-enrollment will begin in December for students who aren't enrolled, currently enrolled. Uh, GPA requirement of 2.0. Um, must be in good social uh, and behavior standing. And must be uh, a four-year degree-seeking senior. And you have to provide uh, copies or uh, petition show that you've already applied for graduation. So this is for students who are wanting to get into the dorms now. And for those new students, um, those of you who are here that are new, um, good social and uh, behavioral standing means that uh, you haven't gotten in trouble on campus and uh, had to pay any fines or anything like that and uh, good academic standing is the 2.0 or better so this semester you know you'll have a, a two point or better in your grade point average okay okay and then <clears throat> this is at the end of uh, the information that was sent to me um, if you do have questions you can uh, contact housing at haskell.edu. You can go on the Haskell website. It, it's uh, haskell.edu. Go to that website. And um, all this information is listed on there. Um, 
Yeah, down here at the bottom. But we just want you to know that the university is taking serious all the CDC recommendations from, it's not only from uh, the federal government, but also from the county, from uh, Douglas County here in Kansas. Okay, so our last category is prepaid. Now I contacted them and asked them, and they said they currently do not have a prepaid option for the spring. They said you have to pay once you get here in the spring, okay? But, um, but again, if you have a hold this semester, you want to contact them now and get things uh, arranged for, this, for the spring. Um, they are encouraging, again, everything to be done online, paying your fines, paying fees, all that. There's a process here that you can also find this uh, in the, on, on the Haskell website. Um, pay online with credit or debit card. Um, go to Haskell.edu, click on pay online, and campus fees and fines. Um, it, it gives you these instructions right here so that you uh, can follow through. Um, if they do have an option for a 10 week plan, but you have to show that you've um, been approved for financial aid. So um, that's something, that's why it's important for you to do this now and not after you come back in January because everything's going to be crazy. Everybody's going to be trying to. Uh, adjust their classes because some, sometimes some of the classes you enroll for, you, in, uh, you get enrolled in, it may not come through. So in the spring it might get dropped and you have to adjust and find a different class. So everybody will be doing that. And so it's easier if you take the time now and make plans for what you're going to take in the spring and have a couple of options. Look at your degree checklist. If this class isn't available, what class can I take in this place? And that, again, is why it's important to talk to, uh, you can come and talk to us, we can go over it, but you also have to get it approved by your academic counselor, your academic advisor. We can only suggest or talk to you about it, but uh, your academic advisor has to sign off. And then, um, the last thing, if you attend uh, at least one day in the spring semester and then you decide during that ad drop week that you're just going to withdraw, you're still held responsible, responsible financially for the whole semester. So uh, keep that in mind and uh, just kind of on a side note, anytime you drop a class in the financial, financial aid world, at the end of the semester, that turns into an F. So that factors into their uh, system as an F, meaning you paid for that class, but you didn't get any credit. So um, that's something you have to take into consideration. And, oh, that's it. So um, do you have any questions? Anybody have any questions? I know sometimes the, the system of the, uh, Housing gets kind of confusing, but the forms are online. You can you can download them, and you can fill them out and turn them in at the dorms. Um, and the same thing for well, you can do this online with the virtual office. Does anyone have any questions? Is the where to find the class schedule? Is where to find it at? Or the free classes that are going to be available? On your student portal, when you when you go into yeah, go into uh, uh, Haskell.edu, and at the top you'll see along the top it'll say like uh, faculty portal and the student portal. Click on the portal, your portal, and then enter your information, and the class listings should be there. But like I said, they will be uh, making some adjustments as the weeks get closer. So, so it's a good thing to start thinking about it now and getting that information, getting that information, uh, setting up a meeting with your, 
your academic advisor and looking at all your options. The main thing is we want you to stay on track so that um, so that you keep working toward your degree and and when time runs when it, when when that time comes you'll be ready to graduate. When does the graduation start? It starts November first and the first uh, Mon that's on a Monday. Monday, November first, will be the seniors will be uh, pre-enrolling on the first and second, and juniors on the third and fourth. Sophomores on the fifth and the eighth. That sounds like it must be the weekend. And then uh, freshmen on ninth through the tenth. And then if you for for whatever reason, if you didn't get in to pre-enroll during that time. Uh, uh, then you'll have another opportunity on November 11th and 12th. But uh, November 11th is a holiday, so none of the offices will be open here on campus. So uh, that's a federal holiday, so everything will be shut down on the 11th. Well, we thank you guys for coming. I know it's kind of a, uh, a lot of information in a short amount of time, but um, it's important that you guys begin to start looking at that uh, ahead of time. And you have to do this every semester. So near the end of next spring, uh, probably the first of April, you want to start preparing for, if you want to take summer classes or you're going to wait till the fall. Uh, you want to be able to start doing that as well. It's always thinking ahead. And this is also a good time to start looking at scholarships, uh, you know, doing your FAFSA. The FAFSA season is open already for 2022, the fall of 2022. So um, if you want to start working on that, this is the time to start doing it so that you're not uh, in a rush. And you, can, and you can work on it and not be panicked. Another um, good idea too when you guys go to pre K, so if you guys have scholarships or um, if you're getting funding like from your tribe, what you want to do is there's a form that you need to fill out after each semester um, that it does a verification. So once the final grades come out, those grades will be sent to whoever you need it to be sent to. So for like down donations, they give you like a certain time to get your transcripts in. Um, after the semester is over. So definitely, if you guys are getting any scholarships or if you need verification, make sure you guys go ahead and get that, that form done. So that way it's already taken care of and you don't have to worry about, did, did they get my transcript or did they get my grades? You know, that's gonna be an important thing too. So um, just be mindful of that. If you need any verification uh, for your tribe or scholarships, you wanna go ahead and try to get that taken care of uh, right away as well too. Yeah, and that, that's a good point because some tribes don't send your money until January. They want to see your grades. They want to see that you're uh, enrolled for the next semester before they send your money. So, so it's a good thing. But then definitely schedule your, uh, your meeting or your send an email to your advisor and set those up right away uh, just so that way you can get in and out. Um, sometimes they're going to be bombarded with a, a bunch of other students, but if you get your appointment with your advisor, you're going to have time to get all of this taken care of. Like Ron said, we just want to make sure that we're giving you guys information right now so you guys can be proactive. So when it's your time to register, hopefully all those classes that you guys have uh, put on your schedule, you're going to be able to get those right away. Um, we have had students who didn't do pre-enrollment or pre assignment and so then again, they had to wait until December and a lot of the classes were taken. Yeah. And another thing, again, with your housing, you just want to make sure that that's taken care of. You know, everybody does have um, opportunity to have housing for the spring, but you want to get those forms taken care of so you know that for the fact that you will have housing, if that makes sense. Yeah, you don't want to show up and not have a place. Well, that's it. That's all we have. So. Thank you for coming and thank you for uh, participating and uh, our next seminar isn't until the middle of November.
and it's a talking circle. So um, 